Hi, this is Mateus Kenteri. I'm a professional musician here in Nashville, Tennessee, where playing hot chicken picking music is the only way to survive. And today we have another lesson. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the mixolydian mode. And uh, the reason why this mode is so used in country music is because a lot of uh, the country stuff, especially the, the traditional country, you know, the old school stuff, um, <clears throat> those songs use a lot of dominant chords, which are major chords with a flat seven. And that scale has all the intervals that work over that kind of chord, you know, so that's why it gets used a lot. So today I want to show you uh, a few licks, a few ideas that hopefully will help you guys uh, to find like musical ways to use this scale when you're phrasing, uh, you know, writing solos, improvising live, whatever. So uh, if you like this type of lesson, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this with your friends. I also have some other lessons here uh, on my channel. You know, I have one about pentatonic scale, uh, some, some other like lick ideas, uh, mixing major and minor pentatonic. So make sure you guys check, check that out. I have a playlist uh, with all those lessons, you know, in the same place. So just check it out. Without further ado, let's get to it. So one way to play that scale is this. And I would learn this in every part of the neck possible, any way you can. So make sure you guys practice that a lot so you don't have to think about it when you're playing live. to the lick. So lick number one over A. We're gonna approach the third here. I'm gonna slide from the fourth fret to the sixth fret. So here at the very end I use the note that's not in that scale but it's just a passing tone. It's just again approaching the third here. So we don't have to worry about that. That's cool. That's kind of jazzy. So that's lick number one. Lick number two. So with this lick, I'm using a chromatic line here. So there are a few notes that are not inside the scale, but as you can see, they're just like passing tones, you know, kind of approaching the next note that's inside the scale. So um, hopefully with this lick you guys uh, will have like your own ideas of how to do that, that kind of thing and add a little color to your phrasing, you know, so. All inside the scale to this point and then it's just the same thing I just played but half step down, so. And then all of a sudden now I'm inside the scale again. So what I was thinking as I was playing the lick is just approaching this note, you know, from this note to this note. And then I just added this extra step in between those two. So And here I have a bunch of passing tones as you can see. Uh, between the fifth and the third, which are both inside that scale, I added these two notes and then another one here, a lower note approaching the third. And that's totally cool. You don't have to worry about those notes not being in the scale because you're just using them as passing tones. You're not, the key here is to not be like emphasizing those notes. If you stop in one of them, maybe it won't sound that great, you know? Lick number three, we're gonna use a few, um, some pedal notes, which I love. Uh, a pedal note, using pedal notes uh, means uh, you're gonna play, you're gonna come back to a certain note in between every other note that you're playing. Uh, and usually I like to um, choose those uh, those pedal notes, you know, and make sure those are notes that are inside the chord that it's being played at that moment. Uh, 
because then you'll, it'll fit better, you know, it'll sound better. So in this case, if we're playing over A, we're gonna start using the C sharp, which is our third, our major third. That's gonna be our pedal uh, note. So we're gonna keep going back to that C sharp. So here we go. If you're getting started with the hybrid picking, this is also a good exercise, you know, because I'm I'm always playing that pedal note with my uh, with my middle finger here. And then we can do that same lick um, up on the neck a little bit um, and use the fifth now as our um, uh, pedal note and still use the, the notes from the mixolydian mode. So uh, let's start here. Also use the flat seven. I'm gonna emphasize the flat seven, which is like the the most like recognizable note I would say in the in the mixolydian mode. You know that's what makes it uh, you know special and different than the the regular uh, major scale. So. And then we can also use the root here. So like combine those, you know, and come up with like this combo idea or something, you know. Um, let's do another one that I like to do a lot when I'm playing in A, a uh, over here and use the, the open strings which always sound good when you're playing country so one two three let me play it slow now see again I'm playing a, a note that's not uh, inside the mixolydian mode but it's just an approaching uh, note it's just a passing tone so I'm, I'm approaching the C sharp which is our major third with with a C <laughs> You want to play this in different parts of the neck you can too i would then instead of doing like this pull off that i'm doing here to the open string i would do a slide uh, so let's say we're doing it in d so one two three So that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and again uh, make sure you guys subscribe hit that like share this with your friends uh, if you want to learn more I got some links for you on the description uh, and also make sure you check out the other lessons that I have here on my channel check out my music on Spotify and I'll see you next time